another big international hit. This is now when you went international with Stopper. I remember as a kid seeing Stopper on music videos in Toronto, in Canada, anywhere you went in the States, you'd see Stopper. How did that come around? Stopper really come around. Mm-hmm. Mm, I see some freezes that go on on this. Yeah. Uh, Stopper really come around when I was at Penthouse. Okay. I get in, I get introduced to this white virgin named John Dub Vendor from out of England, Fashion Records. Very significant record label. Mm-hmm. And John, good, good people. You know? I said enough respect to him wife and him family. Hope they must stay safe. And also before me going on the details, also because Barry O'Reilly play a uh, significant role in weight them and more I said my condolence to him family because he had the pass a uh, Barry O'Reilly just pass away with it. Okay. They said them claims are COVID nineteen, so them say. Yeah. You know. And uh Toots, you know, I said I show to Toots also the Monday great pioneer in the music business and all the rest of entertainer them will pass, you know, mm-hmm. like uh, Pad Anthony. Yes. And I hear arguments saying pass too. Mm-hmm. You see, the only thing going on in the COVID-19 era, yeah, so I have a short send the show to because I don't want to forget about it because I didn't have sure. it in mind. You understand? That said, with that say and done, mm-hmm. you know, you see me? And even the youth named Dean McKelly, yeah. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a great loss. Also, as a youth, they deal with the publishing side of the music business and involved in that section, you know. Very important. Yeah. Yes, it's very important to send some shout out to him family. And it was one of them things, the Virgin, where so don't to watch everything I play out, you know. Mm-hmm. You see me? But let's get back into what we are talking about now. Yes, in with Stapa. When I was at Penthouse, I get introduced to John Dobfender. Mm-hmm. From fashion records and uh, Herbie, mm-hmm. I heard that is Herbie and Sly don't bar peel that beat that hip hop punani. You understand? And when I hear the beat, I did like it. Mm-hmm. And how I come up with that lyrics, I write the lyrics from nursery rhyme. But yeah. I used to just start go school back in the days when they have the nursery. I said, bits of paper, bits of paper, lying on the ground, lying on the ground. Yeah. Make the place untidy. You make the place untidy. Pick them up. <laughs> you know, when the teacher, them used to, yeah. you know, put them thing there to us. And I think that was a, a, a nursery rhyme, uh, you know, that for, for make you know about cleansiness. You know, make sure keep the place clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and as that if bits of paper up on the ground, you need to pick them up yeah. and keep the place clean. So I eventually create the style from the, the, the part of the melody from that. Or I said, DB, DB, DJ, DB, DB, DJ, know me a debt, them know me a debt. No for them a worry, no for them a worry, some of them a fret, some of them a fret, me have the stop up, stop up, stop up, stop stop, 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 stop up. You understand? So, basically, you can hear the similarity between bits of paper mm-hmm. and that song. So, uh, so, I come up with a song and then record it with John Doug Vendor. And that was a ma- not a major hit. Mm-hmm. Sell cool, a lot of matter of fact. In those days, they have to sell at least 500,000 copies of record in order to get gold. Yes. You see me? Mm-hmm. And John Dubvender is a great man. And we always have to give him, him respect. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because the man that helped my career for reach to one of the higher heights. You know? You understand what I say? Yeah. One of the higher heights in the business. So, right now, I forget them, man, they're the highest level of respect. Mm-hmm. You know, I also the roof over my head. Him help in order to get this roof over my head. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Because from royalty, when we get from him, and then put another little bit on it and buy my place where we live. Yeah. So, the man helped put a roof over my head. 
And me just have left it just for the time being, me now going on all the details. Yeah. <laughs> and that song. <laughs> all right, no problem. And, and, uh, 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 I think the thing I uh, look through us again. Uh, right, on my, side, on my side, we look good here. Yeah. They say the internet and that something there. Yeah, man. So, so what I'm saying, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. With um, Peter, was that when you got signed to um, to Priority Records? Was when Stopper came out? When Stopper came out, I think that record signed over to a company named Profile, who you saw of FED. Profile, yes. FED Profile. was on that label, and Murray Elias was the one who signed me to that company because he was the ENR and Profile. And I am the one who signed that record to that company, and you know. And that was a big deal at the time. And even the prior to records deal is more Elias execute that deal also and get me signed to priority when priority was distributing for Dr. Dreadem and Tetro records. Mm -hmm. You see, I saw come meet Ice T once and you know and I was with that company. Mm -hmm. You see, but my part of signing with them mm -hmm wasn't really a good thing for me because it helped slow up my career and don't do anything. Because I have a feeling that at the time, them big record companies, they never know how to market, dance hall and distribute it. Yeah. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.